Hi everybody, it's Retroyuki once again, giving you guys a brand new tutorial series for a brand new bot called Laifu Bot, L-A-I-F-U-B-O-T. It is another bot for anime lovers, and we're going to show you how it works in just a, in the next few weeks, every Sunday and every Thursday of each week. But before anything, if you guys like tutorials like this one, and you want to consider subscribing and liking the video as well, as we continue in the next few weeks for these tutorials let's go on to our let's take a look at what the bot is first of all all right first of all what is life food bot life food bot is a bot that allows you to collect cards of anime characters just like you would do with other other bots in the anime world like mude like karuda and there's an upgrade system and you can actually add gifts here and we're going to show you how to do that in these tutorials for today we're going to just introduce the bot today we're going to go over the regular commands then we're going to go over gotcha we're going to go over badges the rarity the influence the upgrading and anything else we're going to take a look at in the next few weeks for each tutorial all right, so let's get started with how to get started with with Lifeu Bot. So this is my test server for Lifeu Bot. If you guys want to try it out for yourselves, um, I actually just added a Lifeu Bot section on my main server. Link in the description below. I'll show you how to get started with testing in a moment. Let's first talk about the actual starting point. In order to start with Life of Bot, besides inviting the bot, the links will be in the description below. You have to create your account. To create an account, all you have to do, the prefix is letter L, like letter L, like in La La Land. Okay, so L that start. And you're going to grab this window. When you see this window, your, your account is created. You don't need to do anything. And you can get started with Life of Bot right away. You're always going to get two types of resources to get started with your journey, and they are Lawstone, which will be required for getting Gacha, and something called Nightmare, which we were talking about later on in this series. Okay. Now the first type of drop. There are two types of drops in Life of Bot. Drop and gotcha so for example a drop looks like this you grab this folder you're going to see this type of folder like uh like a folder file and you're going to see a letter combo like pxpm you know how you do those those security checks so here what you need to do is you need to respond with the code on the bot on the folder the pxpm you just type it out you don't need to do anything else and you're going to grab uh, some items like this one right here i grabbed some items here it's called a case file i grabbed some gotcha points and some lost stone and i got some exp We'll be talking about the experience points later because it has something to do with the arena mode. The next type of drop is daily. This is your normal stuff. You're going to be able to get this message here where you're going to grab some items every day. 24 hours is a cooldown. It's just like Mude. But you're going to grab some items including some lost stone and some tickets again we'll be talking about each type of currency later you're always going to notice an announcement if there is an announcement they will be putting it on the on the daily and there's a there's a announcement for a new event called bewitching spooktober for october of course we're going to take a look at that event when the event starts all right then there's something called vote and vote is where you can get rewards as well but you need to respond 
by clicking the link that they give you and you vote for the bot it's very similar to what they show you guys in Mude. you vote for the bot and you grab these rewards so you have 15 lost stone you have money in this game by the way which we'll talk about later it's used for auctions so we'll talk about how it works when we get to that point and you can get another currency called white flower we're going to take a look at that as well later then you have your profile so you're going to see the following you're going to see what level you are how many experience points you need to get level up you're going to see what's your defense that is most likely for the arena your attack your hp then your lost stone your money and your nightmare for view you need to actually have a character first and for gotcha here's how gotcha works so l dot gotcha will give you a random character from random series here's how you're going to read this here's how you read your character card here the name the general info your the universal id and the game id the universal id is going to be important in just a moment then you're going to see a rarity and i have gamma i'll explain how that works in a moment influence is 101 we'll talk about that most likely later and then the main series now depending on where you are the names of the anime where the character comes from is going to be different so for english it's called eden zero also in japan it's called eden zero and the sid is 1190 and then you're going to see this how many lost stone you use and how much you have left and i believe this is for something else part of the game we'll talk about that later finally we have the artwork of this character then you have you have um, a few announcements like avoid bans don't alternate uploaded by whoever is the user of this photo most likely the bot and the credit is the official art by the way yes you can actually add images to the game and we're going to talk about that when we get into customization later on now we're going to get back to a command called view v-i-e-w and the way this works is so l dot view and then the number one because i only have one character here and the one allows me to get back to the character and all that good stuff and how uh, it tells you how many versions of the card exist there are many versions of the same character so there is a chance you're going to get a different version number of the same character okay so keep that in mind next is called l.list and l.list allows you to collect see your collection i only have one character up obviously on the server because this is just my test server to learn how to play the game properly that so i can give you these tutorials okay the so most of it is your general profile info gotcha and all that good stuff the only thing that's different with the with this particular bot is that both drops and gotcha are two types of drops and we're going to take a look at that what what's the difference in our next tutorial in a in a few hours where we're going to be talking about what the difference between drops and gotcha is okay so if you guys enjoyed this one make sure you leave a like subscribe if you guys like more tutorials like this one i will see you guys on our next one where we're talking about how how to get started with the game itself but for now that is retro uk saying we'll see you soon